got twenty dollars in my pocket. Hola guys, it's Katie and welcome on back to Steal the Spotlight today. I am so pumped for this video. I am finally getting around to doing the $20 thrift challenge. These are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I'm actually going to link you guys to a couple of my favorites here and in the description box because sometimes when I just get on a roll of watching thrift videos, I cannot stop. They are so addictive. I've also done a thrift video in the past. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up last time, I will link that in the description box as well but I'm sure most of you have heard about the $20 thrift challenge you pretty much just go to a bunch of thrift stores until you can put together a complete outfit for under $20 so personally when I am in the mood to thrift I don't want to be going to one op shop here and then driving like half an hour to another one I want something where there's lots all within a close area so I decided to make the journey over to Redcliffe because I heard that there were like five or six good ones all within walking distance, which is totally true. And I thought that they were great. They were really, really spacious ones with lots to choose from, great prices. And there was actually a lot more people in there thrifting than I usually see. So it was actually kind of cool to see that lots of people were enjoying finding some secondhand deals. In my last thrift haul, a lot of you guys were asking like whereabouts exactly I like to thrift. So I thought that I would show you guys which stores I actually went to. Lifeline is a big one here in Australia. I'm sure most of you guys have heard of it. Vinnie's. I went to the Red Cross Foundation. I went to Save the Children and lastly Endeavor. And just a warning, Endeavor is a little bit more expensive than your normal op shops. They kind of try and pass things off as retro and up the price depending on what's in trend. So just keep that in mind. This time around, I actually found that the Red Cross Foundation had heaps of trendy items that were in style right now. You could see a lot of 70s inspiration. I don't know if they had done that on purpose, but there were so many different turtlenecks to choose from. Denim skirts, like definitely looked like you could buy that sort of thing right now in store. Anyway, moving on to the actual outfit that I put together. The first thing that caught my eye was this denim skirt. It was originally from Waki Jeans, which personally I've never heard of, but it was a size eight and in perfect condition. So it was meant to be. And it's just the sort of piece that I thought I could definitely base an entire outfit around. So I was pumped, I was off to a good start. Then I moved on to the next store, which was Vinnie's, I believe, and they had so much good stuff in there. Oh my goodness. There was a lot that I wanted to buy and I actually did buy some separate pieces not for this challenge. So let me know if you want to see a thrift haul. But the shirt that caught my eye for this particular outfit was originally from Jeans West. It is $6. And it did, however, originally come with a white lacing through it. I decided to change it out for a black ribbon I already had at home because I thought it would complement the look overall much better. And then, my friends, it was the true miracle of the day because I found a pair of shoes. I wasn't expecting to include shoes in this challenge simply because no one ever really does because it's so freaking difficult. But there, it was the marvelous $3 pile. It's like, yeah, I'll have a quick little squeeze through it. Bam! A pair of shoes originally from Betts. So after I bought the shoes, that left me with $6 left and I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted. I still had a few different stores to go to. I was thinking maybe a belt, a hat, or something to go around the waist. I felt like I needed another black item just to tie the shoes in with the look a little bit better because it was feeling a little bit mismatched. I ended up finding just this plain black cardigan and I thought that it looked perfect just tied around the waist for a little bit of a 90s vibe with the denim skirt. So that worked out perfectly and that was only $5.50 so I ended up coming in 50 cents short of the budget. So let me know what you guys think of the final look. I'm actually really, really happy with it because I don't think it looks like it came from an op shop at all. These pieces are all things that are actually in trend at the moment and what you would find in store right now. So that's a wrap on today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this $20 outfit challenge. Please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you did and you were impressed with the awesome deals I managed to pick up today. I would also really appreciate it if you guys could leave me some questions down in the comments. I really want to do kind of like more of a fashion Q&A because let's face it, my life isn't interesting enough to do a whole Q&A about it. So it would be awesome if you guys left me some fashion related questions on how to style certain pieces, like for example, how to style like 
I don't know, all white sneakers or what to wear to a certain event, like what to wear to a 18th birthday party, something along those lines, because I do get a lot of questions on random little things like that that I can't really do an entire video around because it doesn't really cater to the majority of people, if you know what I mean. So I thought it'd be cool if I could kind of have a little collection of different questions that I answer for you guys. And then it just has like a whole bunch of different outfit ideas in one video. So hopefully I'm making sense, but if you guys could leave me some questions for that, that would be ace. So yeah, I'll see you in the comments.